Hi everyone, welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. This is Yoshimi. Today I'm going to show you how to make miso and butter salmon. Butter goes really well with miso. Today I'm going to season some salmon and vegetable with miso and butter and you'll be surprised to know how delicious it can be. At the end of the video, I will show you how I create a menu with this miso butter salmon, so stay with me till the end. Okay, let's get started. Dido, you need to make four servings. Four salmon fillet, some salt and pepper, one quarter cabbage, shimeji mushroom, two green peppers, half a carrot, three tablespoon miso paste, two tablespoon mirin, two tablespoon sake, one tablespoon sugar, and about two tablespoon butter. Let's do all the vegetable cutting first. So carrot, let's peel the skin. I want to make thin strips, so let's make thin diagonal slices first. Then into strips. Put it aside. Green peppers, let's cut it in half. Remove the seeds and pith. Then, thin diagonal slices. Cabbage, let's cut the core off. And just cut it into easy to eat size. Shimeji mushroom, cut the bottom off. And break into pieces. And all the vegetables are ready. Now let's make miso sauce so that you don't panic when you need it. Into the small bowl, three tablespoon miso paste, two tablespoon mirin, two tablespoon sake, one tablespoon sugar. Mix it well to dissolve the miso. And the miso sauce is ready. Very easy. Now, salmon. Some salt and pepper on both sides. Everything is ready, so let's start cooking. Heat up some vegetable oil in the frying pan of a medium high heat and put the salmon with skin side facing down. Skin side down. And saute them until it's nicely brown. That's good, so let's put them all over. Now, turn the heat to medium low and put all the vegetables on top. Carrot, green pepper, cabbage, Shimeji mushroom. Put the lid on and steam cook it for about 5 minutes. I didn't add any water in it, so you're steam cooking it with the water of the vegetable itself. Okay, 5 minutes, so let's see how it's doing. You can see vegetables are rotted. Let's add the miso sauce you made earlier. Give it a mix so the sauce circulates all over the frying pan. But make sure you don't break the salmon.
It looks so good. Turn the heat off. Put butter. Put the lid back on to melt the butter. Butter is melted. So let's give one last mix to mix the butter all over. It's looking and smelling so good. Let's have it on the plate. Don't forget to put some sauce too. Miso and butter salmon is ready to go. Time for the tasting. Itadakimasu. Salmon and some vegetables together. Mm. The combination of miso and butter is so delicious. This is how standard Japanese combo style meal looks. Rice, soup, main, two side dishes. Miso and butter salmon is the main dish, so let's put it here. Plain rice here and vegetable miso soup here. For one of the side dishes, I usually have some sort of pickles, either homemade or off the shelf. For the other side dish, I think I want to have something simple and refreshing, so how about onion salad? I hope you enjoy the meal. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye.